So with Hurricane Milton getting more powerful, residents in harm's way are already taking action. So some people are boarding up their homes, others are filling sandbags, and many are leaving, even as far here as coming to Boston. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg live at Logan with this part of our team coverage, Eli. Yeah, it was another busy day here at Logan Airport. All those flights from the Gulf Coast side of Florida packed as they headed up to Boston. Talking with passengers as they got off the plane, different reasons for coming up here. Some moving up their flights to today to get out. Others facing mandatory evacuations that decided to spend this storm up here in Boston. <laughs> At Logan Airport this evening, fleeing Florida. Flights from Tampa, Fort Myers, Orlando, and Jacksonville packed. I'm really sad, but I'm, I'm so glad to be back in Massachusetts. Sharon residents Amy and Stephen Pransky, just back from the Sarasota area, shooting this video of the damage done to their home down there by Hurricane Helene. Now this. Well, everyone's stuff is on our front lawns, so there's no, nothing left to take except nothing the house. Nothing left to, to destroy at this point except for the house itself. With Hurricane Milton intensifying and turning towards central Florida's Gulf Coast, those with connections in Boston packing what they could as fast as they could, making a mad dash to the north. It's incredible, and we have never had a hurricane like that in, in the Tampa area. I pray that it goes somewhere else. It's really bad timing again, but I'm, I'm hoping our, our house will be fine and our neighbors will be okay. I am so glad I got out. I That was terrifying. When I was checking in, they were like, oh, we're closed tomorrow. Very surprising. But not everyone can get away, including a team from the American Red Cross based up here in Massachusetts in central Florida preparing. I mean, you can't be down here and see the need and not want to help. Also planning to ride out this hurricane, West Bridgewater native Frank Tono. I'm getting a very queasy feeling in my stomach with this storm, to be absolutely honest with you. Being from Massachusetts, it's a little different. It's a little different down here. You saw the Red Cross from up here is in the Tampa area, checked in with MA Task Force 1. They're currently in North Carolina helping in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. They did say two members down to Florida as Hurricane Milton approaches. Meanwhile, airports in the Gulf Coast area starting to close. First up, Tampa set to see its last flight leave at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Live outside Logan Airport, Eli Rosenberg. NBC 10 Boston. Eli, thank you. Stay with us for continuing coverage of Hurricane Milton. We will have the very latest on the storm's track and the preparations underway.